today. How did you assess it overall? So much happened, but were you happy with the performance? I thought it was a poor game. The conditions played a part. Um, I think people, we have to understand the, the, the predicament we're in. Um, and at the minute it's about doing what's needed to get results. It's not about, and we're not in a position and we're not in a place where we can play like Barcelona just yet. We have to be pragmatic and <clears throat> we have to fight and scrap to get points. And um, our performance with the ball today wasn't great. We know that, but we defensively outstanding again. We got the goal. Um, and we defended with 10 men for 25 minutes and uh, outstanding, it's a big three points. Yeah, I think at the end of the day we'll forget about the performance and we'll, and we'll remember the three points. Is it fair to say that I think going in 1-0 up at half-time was perhaps against the run of play but you took your chance when you had it? Exactly, there wasn't, they didn't have too many chances, there wasn't a lot of chances in the game. I think they had one from across in the first half. Um, we had next to nothing apart from the goal. Um, and we're caught. You can see when we're trying to pass the ball a little bit, the fans want us to get it forward. But there's a gale force wind behind us, and if we kick it, it runs straight out of play or through to their goalie. So that bit is going to take time. Um, and it's probably not something that can be done during the season. So um, we, sh we probably should have got the goalkeeper to kick everything and get us up the pitch. but. The boys want to enjoy themselves and have a little bit of the ball now and again because we don't seem to get much of it. And we should talk about the penalty. He changed the penalty taker, Matt Worthington, and it was a very good penalty from him. Just stopping that hoodoo a little bit. I didn't watch it. <laughs> Couldn't watch it. Um, <laughs> yeah, it was um, the, the players did that between themselves. They decided it was a if you if you take the if you watch the f the routine for the corner. We worked it really well, something that Toddy worked on yesterday. And um, we got Worthy free just inside the box and he, he had a shot and put it wide. So I'm glad that the referee <laughs> brought it back for a penalty. And talk about the second half, Matt Worthington, pretty much the story, because he saw yellow for the second time for a dive. What was your thought on that? Well, I just thought that well, I thought the referee started to make decisions that didn't need to be made he was like chasing things and for both teams and I think both teams both technical areas became very frustrated and they're descending off I've just seen it it's like the lad has a kick at Worthy's ankle and he goes over and it's never ever a booking but I, I just don't understand why he took that decision there's no need to if he hadn't given that yellow not one person in the stadium them included would have complained so he's given himself a you know, put himself in a difficult position where we're going to have to appeal for everything. After that, I get booked um, for asking for a free kick when he said it was a head injury. So it all becomes a bit of a mess. It's, um, there was no need for it, in my opinion. And are you pleased with the, the reaction of your players that last 15 minutes? It was backs against the wall, perhaps not the same as Notts County, but you still had a lot of defending to do and you did it well. Of course, you've got wind blowing straight in our face, rain, torrential rain blowing in our face. We've got a team that are on form and we've got a man down, so you know what's coming. But I fancy this to see it out because as a group, as a team, as a squad, they've got a bit of devilment about them and a bit of character to keep the ball out of it. And it will be a big blow to miss Matt Worthington against Bromley, won't it? But you go into that game four unbeaten. Yeah, can't appeal two yellows. I think, you know, if the, referee, if the referee looks at it and admits he made a mistake, then there's a way it can happen, but that will never happen. So uh, we have to take that on the chin, and what that does, it gives somebody else an opportunity. And looking ahead to Bromley, how pleased are you to get those two home wins? And you're unbeaten at home since you've been managing, but really pleased. Yeah, I think it's important that you try and get the bulkier points at home. Um, of course, we want to be, be solid away from home, which we have been so far. We've just got to keep, like I said, to each game as it comes and not look too far ahead. And Bromley are a good team and um, 3G is going to be a tough game, but we've got a really solid group of guys. Really well done today, Matt. Thank you very much.